Hey friends, uh, so most of you know I also run a little bit of a travel business on the side of my pastoring and uh, just trying to get people out and about and I started a, a video blog uh, just interviewing uh, some of my friends around the country and uh, just seeing what, they are, what they're doing, what they're about and uh, their cities of choice and their small towns that they're, they're gathering in and uh, just if they've been on vacations and things like that, just a conversation with fellow wanderers. And so um, episode four of that um, series that I'm doing, I did with my friend Antonio Sims from Detroit, Michigan. <clears throat> and um, we got on, and before we even got to the topic at hand, uh, we just had a really good conversation about racism, uh, our, what's happening in our world, and just communicating and talking with each other. So I was going to splice it into the video a little bit and do some shenanigans with it, but um, it's it's pretty good not to uh, do that with. So what I'm going to share with you just is uh, 16 minutes of uh, Antonio sharing his heart with a little bit of me just popping in, but not much. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And it's the intro to, and you'll see at the very end when I actually introduce him to my other uh, video podcast I'm uh, doing, which will be going out this Friday. But I'd uh, love for you to look at that later, but uh, that's irrelevant to just hearing in his heart for um, this issue that we're having here in, in America, and it's called racism, and um, we, we need to kill it, so we need to be done with it, and so it's going to take us having conversations together, so I hope you um, can take some time just to enjoy this conversation. Man, listen, man, I've been having some in interesting conversations, man, with, with pastors. I've been having pastors uh, inbox me, um, you know about the situation in Minnesota with the African-American who was killed yeah. by the police officer. And I've been having some very good dialogue, man, with some folks who um, uh, really had some questions about things that I posted. And I basically posted that this man's uh, death sentence, I felt like had a lot to do with his skin color. And yeah. uh, I've had other pastors, uh, white pastors who have reached out to me um, wanting to know uh, what are some things that we can do to address the issue? And, uh, you know, so I, I just wanted to make the point that I've been having some good conversations, man, with uh, people uh, around the country on this particular issue that I think that we have to have. We have to have dialogue. There were some things that was uh, um, that we talked about that I didn't agree with. Um, and there were some things that, uh, you know, people that I talked to that they didn't agree, agree with me. And, that was totally fine. And I think the yeah. scripture that talks about, um, you know, how can two walk together unless they, they agree, like how, and, and I just feel like we don't have to agree on everything. We just have to agree to walk together. And that's what I felt like we were making progress on just yeah. having a dialogue, having a conversation that can we agree that killing a person is wrong? Like, can we let, yeah. let let's just find out what we can agree on yeah. instead I mean, of talking about media and politics and all it and see, cause people tend to, like funnel that in into the conversation like um i don't i think media uh always distorts the truth right but then you're getting your information from media yeah right so you don't like media but you like your news source and i just think that we need to be able to differentiate between the two is that what you're really saying is that you're being influenced by media as well. So, Absolutely. I think, yeah, so I, I just felt like we've had some good conversations and I don't think, I'm hoping this is not the end. I think that we have to have some uncomfortable conversations. I hope it's the end of people dying. Yeah. A absolutely. Can it's, can we agree as the church yeah. that we don't want people to die for no reason? You know what I mean? I mean, even if someone breaks the law, should they die for it? Like, if I tried to cash it like a bad check yeah should i get killed for it you know what i'm saying like if i was jaywalking should i get killed for it if i try to sell one cigarette out of a cigarette box should i get killed for it you know no. what i'm saying like this is the kind of stuff should I, should i get killed for um saying that or cussing you out should i get killed for calling you out of your name i just man i just i just believe that we can do better yeah. man we really can do better than what we're doing now. This one was and, this this one was pretty tragic. I I didn't watch. I don't. I'm uh, the guy that never watches any of these videos, um, and doesn't really. I mean, I'll scour the the comments a little bit, but I. Um, but the little I do know, it's like 
and I'm again, I'm a police chaplain. I'm pro. Yeah. I'm pro police. I'm pro yeah. like these guys have a gals have a freaking hard job. Yeah, it's impossible most of the time. But yeah. you look at this and go, um, there was no there. I mean, there wasn't any like. I mean, at no, some point your adrenaline at all, man. Your yeah. adrenaline's got to wear down. Like you don't just hold it there. And then where are the other yahoos that are walking exactly. around? Like you're just like exactly. At some point you're like this. No, exactly. Something just some, some their screws are loose so, something's wrong and joseph that's my point yeah is that we can watch the same video and i feel like me and you came to the same conclusion because one yeah. of the one of the points made was how do we know that it was racism i'm saying as an african as an african-american man i've seen way too many of these yeah right well what if he was just a jerk right well maybe he was a racist and a jerk right yeah. or let's just agree that what he did was wrong like if you were to watch that right how do you it seems like people will try to come up with excuses right and this is what i feel joseph is that the the conversation of racism is uncomfortable with white people yeah i just really and and listen i'm not look i love police officers if something yeah. happened and somebody tried to break in my house guess who i'm calling i'm yeah. calling the police like i want them to come and do their job i do not believe that all police officers all white police officers are are the devil i don't think no. they're all bad but i do believe that there are some that are in Absolutely. the police force that are not good right and and we need to address that and so no. Some people just feel like racism is gone. Like I, I don't know when we elected President Obama, racism disappeared. I don't. I have no idea how, where people get this stuff from, but racism is alive and well. And until we're oh, able to have the conversations, right, and be able to work through these things, and then I told him, I said, look, and when, if we can find out what we can agree on, let's agree on something, and then I think that we'll be able to figure out all the other things, Yeah. right? But we've got to stop trying to figure out what divides us and arguing on those points and talk about the things that we can agree on. Yeah. And it's, so we have finally came came to that medium, and I'm it's really either It's either racism or they're really, really stupid. Yeah. Which is racism in and of itself, but, yeah. I mean, they're, they're inept. Like, yeah. how in the world do you have inept officers... I mean, I've yeah. been in I've been in situations as a chaplain with, you know, zero protection on me, yeah. where, you know, I'm helping a guy up that's handcuffed that could that could destroy me, right? Yeah. yeah. And he asks, you know, hey, can I have a smoke? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, sure. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know and I don't know what I'm doing. I've had yeah. zero training, but I'm just like, okay, this guy, you know, you, is you have absolute, empathy though, man. You this have guy's an absolute your ass, yeah. and he's he's doing stupid stuff, and he's completely out of his rocker. Yeah, and probably still could destroy me. And yeah, keeps falling down, and I'm picking him back up with by his armpits because he's got a freaking tank top on. Yeah, I can still this day smell his armpits. <laughs> you know, and there I am holding this cigarette. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, there's some like, yeah, at some point again, it's the, I can, I can completely even see it like, man, it's you, it's me, I'm there by myself, and it's this guy, and something crazy happened, and I'm, again, but at some point, there's, there's other people, reason should have prevailed within about 30 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah, you can't tell me it's not. Let me ask you a question, Joseph. Do you ever worry about your sons getting killed by the police? Does that ever cr cr cross your mind? No. That crosses my mind every day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you've, you've, you understand you've, what I'm saying? Yeah. And I don't think people, until we are able to put each other in each other's shoes, right, you'll never understand the magnitude of what we deal with being a people of color. And people yeah. kill me when they say that they're colorblind. You're lying. You yeah. see, me. you see the color of my skin, and 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 for certain people, we have to worry about things that other races of people don't have to worry about, right? So, this is what I deal with every day. I'm concerned when my sons leave. Yeah, they get stopped by the police and they do everything that they ask them to do. Put your hands up. They got their hands up. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Put your hands on. The steering wheel. They can do everything, and there's still a possibility, Joseph. Yeah. That they get killed. See, I'm not worried about my kids getting 
tickets for for speeding or making yeah. an illegal right turn or um, you know impeding traffic. I'm not worried about the tickets. Yeah. I'm worried about if they come home alive. And yeah. until we can have these type of conversations, I think that there will totally continue to be some disconnects. We have to know what people live like in certain communities because of their color. Color does have something to do with it. And this is not everybody, people. If anybody's listening, this is not all white people. Okay? <laughs> Let's just be clear, right? Because you start getting uncomfortable. Oh, he's talking about me. There's not a racist bone in my body, right? Yeah. No, I'm not talking about you. If the shoe fits, wear it, right? Yeah. But we have, to, we have to admit that there's something wrong. There's something wrong here. If people can get killed for simple things. Yeah. If this man was handcuffed. Two police officers were on him. One had his knee in his neck as he's crying out, gurgling, saying he can't breathe, and the man did not take the pressure off. That's a problem to me. Yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem, America. And we need to deal with it. We need to deal with it together, right? Yeah, this is not absolutely. A my problem. This is not a African American problem. As the body of Christ, as people who believe in Jesus, man, this is a us problem. And until yeah. us take responsibility for it, we're con going to continue to have these issues. Man, I've had people tell me, Pastor, all I want you to do is talk about Jesus. How can I talk about Jesus and not talk about this? Well, it's stuff Jesus talked about. Come on, man. We either over talk about it or we don't. And we're okay. just, it's just ridiculous. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What happened to your beard, dude? <laughs> <laughs> What is going on right now? <laughs> Shaved her yesterday. Memorial. Oh my, my goodness! My Memorial Day beard, bro. It's oh, gone. Wow. <laughs> wow! You were on a schedule or something? Yeah, bro. I'm... <laughs> and I don't tell anybody what I'm going to do with my beard. All right, and if I do tell you, I'm probably lying to you. It's the one. It's the one thing I keep tight to my vest. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't have a conversation. You go. You know, is it racism or is it just some guy who had a bad day? You know, or yeah. you know, and the reality is, we just, a lot of times we just don't know. This is, but we do know this was completely senseless. Yeah. No matter, no matter what side of the, and so I would say you don't, you know, even don't even argue with racism versus cops or the, like that. Just going, the, the, again, you did it. Can we disagree? This is senseless. Yeah. Absolutely. Can we agree that so, it was wrong. Yeah. So let's, yeah, I mean, because it's. It's stupid. Yeah. And, yeah, and it, Minnesota, it, bro, it, so how can you say Minnesotans are racist? That's what I want to know. Those people are the nicest make, people in the whole world. It doesn't make sense. It just shows you how deep and rain the issue is, right? <laughs> and, oh, you know, I, 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 I take offense. I take offense when, when, when white people try to tell people of color that something is not racism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if you've never been uh, treated differently because of your color, you wouldn't understand, right? Like if yeah. things have been kept from you, right? You wouldn't understand. If people have not been allowed to buy housing because of their skin color, you wouldn't understand. If you've never been told that you had to sit at the back of the bus, you would never understand. Yeah. If, if you have been told that you had to drink from a water fountain that said colored, you would never understand. If you were never brought here on a ship, tied up and chained and shackled and sold yeah. on a platform, you would never understand. I just think that we're so insensitive when yeah. it comes to this type of stuff that we think that this these are issues that no longer exist when they've been built into a system, yeah. right? There, it's what's called systematic racism. You don't see it, but we feel it. We experience it every day, right? Yeah. Have things gotten better? Absolutely. Guess what? I can go to the store. I can buy whatever I want, right? Yeah. You know, pretty much. But there are systems that are put in place for a reason. If you want to see, and I just want to make a point, if you want to see how far African Americans have have achieved or have progressed, look at Donald Trump's. And look, I, I, I pray for the president all the time. Look at Donald Trump's cabinet. If you want to see how far African Americans have made it in in our time, it doesn't look exist, cabinet, does it? Look at all of the genius people, smart people that he's placed around of them. The majority of them are not people that look like me. They're not, you know, like you got There's your Ben one? Carson, 
right? Like, like, like you got a couple of people, right? But I'm just saying yeah. you don't have enough people that fairly represent our concerns and our needs and, and, and our history, right? If you don't understand the people that you are leading, how can you lead them? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that there's just so many things, man, that I think that we would be able to achieve if we can accept truth, right? The, you know, the Bible talks about how the truth shall make you free. It shall set you free. We have to admit some certain, we have to admit some things. And there's yeah. some things that are not so beautiful about our country's history. And I think that that makes us who we are. Right. But I think that we can do better. I think that there is a dream. What I love about Martin Luther King, he said, I had a dream. If, if, if anybody experienced it, it, it was him. Like he went through, um, you know, uh, uh, all of the um, riots and he went through um, people wanting to kill him because he he was speaking out. Right. Mm -hmm. Like we made progress because I'm able to say this and hopefully my house don't get burned down. You know what yes. I'm saying? But, but we but but we've got to keep going. We have to keep on moving forward because I believe what God wants. I believe God loves everybody, re regardless of your skin complexion, where you come from, and your cultural differences. It's okay to be different. I yeah. I love you, Joseph. You are one of my best friends, right? And you're a white guy. Okay. <laughs> and 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 what I love about you is that we can have these conversations. Right. And I feel comfortable enough that I can share my heart with you and yeah. you won't hold it against me. Right. You won't say, well, I'm going to unfriend him on Facebook now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because he has you this, this because, because the things that we talk about make you uncomfortable. Right. I think yeah. that part of that is necessary. We need to have these conversations. I don't have all of the answers and I'm not always right. All I know is I believe God is a God of justice. Right. Yeah. And, and, and he wants us you know, he even says that I'm not a, I'm not a respecter of persons, right? So he con he concerned he's concerned about our hearts. Like, what is in our heart? Is the love of God in our heart for our neighbors and for and for the other? Yeah. And I believe people that are really spending time with Jesus, that's who you are. It's just yeah. it just pours out of you. Sweet. Hey, um, so I'm gonna do the intro, but I'm gonna splice some of this stuff back around the backside. <laughs> All right. You don't even have to use it, man. I'm I'm, I'm just venting. I, no, it's good. No, I'm, just... I'm not going to use all of it, but uh, I'll use I'll use a lot of it or some of it. Maybe I'll <laughs> rephrase it again. Um, so, so I'm here with uh, my friend uh, Antonio Sims from Detroit. Uh, it was, this is episode four, Antonio. I don't know if you know this. Episode, episode four. Uh, well, that's how uh, my interview started with uh, Pastor Antonio. Uh, for my fellow wanderers uh, video blog I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you actually felt a little uncomfortable with it I hope you felt a little bit uh, challenged to get out and talk communicate and um, actually uh, be with people that are maybe a little different than you so um, I've got no fancy websites or no fancy anything to give you to go you know strike out racism or to stop whatever uh, that's going on in our world but, but uh, what you have is somebody that you know uh, that is, again, maybe a different color, different ethnicity, different socioeconomics as you, somebody that's different. Uh, would you have a conversation with them and just ask them questions and want to get to know who they are? I think a little bit of that in our world today will um, help us out a lot. So God bless and um, hope to see you wandering around. And I'll be working now on my the video with Antonio as we talk about Detroit, which is an amazing city. So you'll get to see that hopefully on, on Friday. Uh, God bless. Have a good week.